feels like it's still there. Yeah, that's called Phantom Tail. Let me give you some background information about the scene so that you understand it better. Alberto, the boy standing, has been out of water for some time. But Luca, the boy that just took human form, got out of water for the first time. It must be very scary for him. You'll get used to it. <laughs> right, walking. Don't worry, you're in luck. I basically invented it. To start, stack everything one on top of the other, like a pile of rocks. Walking for most of us is very easy, right? Imagine how Luca feels right now. I mean, it's the first time he's out and about on land. I hope he's a quick learner, though. Great. I mean, fine, whatever. Now, walking is just like swimming, but without fins, or a tail, and also there's no water. So, what do you mean, Alberto, is walking is way different than swimming? I have a question for you. What do you think is the biggest difference between walking and swimming? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, it's like the exact same thing. Give it a try. That's not it. Try it again. Oh, try to lead with your head. No, more belly. Whoops, he's going to fall down. He looks very wobbly. And look at his face. That's, that's lying on the ground. How about this? Just take a step without even thinking about it. No, 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 don't think about it. I don't know how to not think about something. That is right. How do you not think about something? Especially when someone tells you to not think about something. If I tell you to not think about a flower, I'm sure you haven't thought of a flower, right? Ah! Uh, okay, okay. Watch, point your feet to where you wanna go, okay? And then you just catch yourself before you fall. Welcome to another video lesson where you will learn amazing English vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation through great movies, series, and YouTube videos. I'm your teacher, Burak Chanel, and I'm so happy to be teaching you today. In this Learn English with Movies video, we are going to watch a scene from Luca. Let me tell you. The colors, the story, the animations in this movie are on spot. But do you know what I like the most? Luca's voice. I think Luca's voice is so sweet and adorable. If you haven't seen Luca yet, don't even waste time. Go and watch it after the video. Earlier, you have watched Context and got a feel of what is going on. Perfect. Or should I say, perfetto. Next, you'll watch Content and then Comprehension. I think you'll love today's lesson because Luca will get you hooked on its story. Go ahead and subscribe to Loom now and click the bell button next to the subscribe button. We prepare these videos for you for free so you learn English fast and rest. If you have any questions or comments, send them our way. We'll be right there with you. Now, let's go and have some fish. I mean, watch some fish. <gasps> Wait, it feels like it's still there. Yeah, that's called phantom tail. The word phantom is a fun word. If you use it as a noun, it can mean ghost. Ghosts aren't real. The word phantom can also mean something we see, hear or sense when that something isn't actually there. It's an illusion. In the scene, Luca says about his tail, it feels like it's still there. To which his friend replies, Yeah, that's called phantom tail. Meaning, Luca doesn't have a tail anymore, but he will feel like he has a tail for some time. There's also the term phantom limb. Phantom limb describes an arm or a leg that a person lost, but still feels like it's there. <gasps> Wait, it feels like it's still there. Yeah, that's called phantom tail. You'll get used to it. <laughs> right, walking. Don't worry, you're in luck. Luck is a word that means something good that happens to us. If you are in luck, it simply means you're lucky. Generally, when a person tells us that we are in luck, what they mean is they have just the thing we need. In this scene, Alberto thinks that Luca needs to learn how to walk, and he says, Don't worry, you're in luck. Meaning, 
He knows how to help him. But what if you are not lucky? What to use then? Well, the term out of luck is what you're looking for. If someone is out of luck, it means they are not lucky. So, next time, when someone misses their chance at something, try saying, It looks like you're out of luck. Don't worry, you're in luck. I basically invented it. To start, stack everything one on top of the other, like a pile of rocks. Now, walking is just like swimming, but without fins. We humans have arms. Fish don't have arms, but they have fins. Fins are just what fish need to swim. Fish can also have flippers. To see the difference between fins and flippers, check these photos out. Flippers have bones inside them, unlike fins. Fins are softer and generally smaller. Can you give an example for an animal that has fins? Can you give an example for an animal that has flippers? Write down your answers in the comments. Check this video to see a fish using her fins. Now, walking is just like swimming, but without fins or a tail. And also there's no water. Otherwise, it's like the exact same thing. Give it a try. That's not it. Try it again. Oh, try to lead with your head. Do you know the word leader? Leaders lead people. That's why they're called leaders. Being a leader means to do things first and get people to follow you. And if you are in the lead in a competition, it means you are number one. A lead singer is the main singer in a band. Here, the meaning of to lead is very similar. To lead with means to start with or to begin with. When Alberto says, try to lead with your head, what he suggests Luca do is start with his head and then let other parts of his body follow. A quick question for you then. Let's say you're a dance teacher. How would you tell your student to start with their right foot? Use the word lead in your example. Oh, try to lead with your head. No, more belly. That's, that's lying on the ground. How about this? Just take a step without even thinking about it. No, 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 no. Don't think about it. I don't know how to not think about something. Notice when Luca says, I don't know how to not think about something. Uh, he does not pronounce every word in the phrase, I don't know. This is a common thing native speakers do in every language, including English. When words come together, their sounds tend to stick to each other. Here, the word I loses the Y sound at the end, and the word don't loses the T sound, resulting in I don't know. Listen to it with me. I don't know how to not think about something. I don't know how to not think about something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to not think about something. Uh, okay, okay. Watch. Point your feet to where you want to go, okay? And then you just catch yourself before you fall. <gasps> Wait, it feels like it's still there. Yeah, that's called phantom tip. You'll get used to it. Right. Walking. Don't worry, you're in luck. I basically invented it. To start, stack everything one on top of the other, like a pile of rocks. Now, walking is just like swimming, but without fins or a tail.
And also, there's no water. Otherwise, it's like the exact same thing. Give it a try. That's not it. Try it again. Oh, try to lead with your head. Perfetto, perfetto. I see you got all the stars and you give your best try to every question. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on our social media accounts. It's been a pleasure to see you again in this video and bloom now.